Hey guys, it's Eddie from UrbanCrit.com and today we'll be talking about the Code of Bell x totes This x tote can be worn three ways and it's a very thought out bag. There's a lot of features and a lot of parts to this bag that really make sense when worn and used throughout your daily carry. I can see myself using a lot of these features through my daily life, uh, whether it's going to work or taking my kid out or even just kind of commuting to my office and back. This bag really, I really like this bag actually. I mean, you know, we can go into detail about why, but let's start with the exterior. The outside pouch here is made of an X pack. The bag itself is made of a cordura, I believe, and it's really, it's really thick and really well padded, so it can hold its form really well. A lot of problem with bags these days are that there's they're made to sit on your back, but they're not made to sit on the desk or on the floor by itself. You need to lean it against something. So the good thing about this bag is that it stands up by itself. That's a little bit too much, but you kind of a little bit here, a little bit there. There's no problem. It swings back into place. So that's the good thing about this bag. So let's start with the outside. This outside, again, it's X-Pack. It has these hooks. I mean, it has these straps, right? And this strap is adjustable, so then you could put an umbrella or a tripod. The good thing about these is that these straps are extremely long, so you can actually fit, you can fit a lot in here. You can fit a jacket, actually, two jackets, actually. You can fit a tent pole if you wanted to. Um, and it has that functionality to hold stuff, but also can, compress this outer pouch to be a little bit more uh, tighter against this bag. So if you are trying to half fill this bag, it has, sometimes it may get droopy or loopy, so you could tighten it to hold its shape, right? So that's kind of the good thing about these. Again, if you don't want these, you can remove these because at each end of these straps, there are G-hooks where you can just take it out of its slot and then there's also these where you could, these clips where you can also, if you want to expand temporarily and then, so and then you put in some stuff, you, you close it up and then you close this, these clips up real quick and then you tighten just like a compression, compression straps, right? Uh, or you can, again, you can remove them completely. If you wanted to keep these organized under control, there are these uh, slots where you can slip in your excess strap and it holds a more clean look. And also a zipper here, which gives you access to this inside, this outer, outer pocket. But really when you, and this is kind of, so this is really for if it's laying on its back, you just need easy access. It gives you a more of like a duffel access point. So you can open up, you can get things out, and you can close it up. So again, this is great because if you're working at a coffee shop or at the office, and you don't really want to go digging top down because sometimes when you, it's top down, right? It's usually layered up, right? Oh, you have this, this, this here. You can, instead of trying to fumble your way down to the bottom, you can just open this one. You can, from the center, you have access to everything in a flat way, right? So you can access left or right, up or down without having to fumble your hands through it. So that's, that's great thinking, like how to sell. Again, <clears throat> There is the main compartment. If you were packing it out, you could probably do it here too, if you needed. So this is pretty spacious. And it's double zippered. See how spacious that is? I have a few things in there. And it's perfect because there are, it expands again. There is pockets here for organization. And then there are, a, there's a key strap here for you to put your keys. It's magnetic detachable, so that's great always. And this is just, if, I, if you can see, there are actually buttons in here that keeps this flap right here. 
intact without flying around. And again, it's, it's, it's all about options, right? This bag, so you could fit things in this mesh pocket inside, and then you cover it up and then close it up. So if you want a little bit of security or a little bit of separation, you can, right? So there is that separation, and then when you lift it, there it is, right? So you can do that. And uh, two pocket organizations here, zipped. And then you close it up. Just for its convenience. If you can look here, these are waterproof zippers. So it can keep the water out pretty well. So there is that plus, which I love. And sometimes over engineered is good because there's a reason for it, right? This strap, so there's two straps here. This strap is attached, which is interesting, and then this strap is detachable. Let's see, there's magnetic clasps here, right? And then you can just attach it, and then attach it this way. It comes with this. What it is is you basically put the two handles in, and then you can Velcro, and then it, it gives you a little bit more grip and a little bit more surface area for you to be able to hold this bag. And then if you want extra security, you can button it. There's that option. But usually I just Velcro it because the buttons, it's not really necessary. The only issue I have with these uh, handles is that it's not attached, right? It's detached. And I, it could be, you know, a feature, right? But I just worry sometimes like I'm on the subway and then I I'm trying to, I wake up and oh snap, I gotta get off and then I just gotta put this together and, and oh, oh, I dropped this on the floor and I gotta, you gotta pick it up, All right? And then it's, it's easy to lose, I feel like, I, at least for someone forgetful like me. So I would prefer to have maybe it attached to the strap so I don't have to risk losing it. Uh, but that's just me. There is a thing here where it is two pockets, a magnetic pocket and then a zipper pocket. Magnetic is really for, I guess, looser, looser objects, like bigger papers that you really need to take out really quickly. And then the zipper ones for passports, more important things like social, social security. I don't know if you would take that with you. Uh, passport, ID, money, you know, credit cards, things like that. If you really need to keep it secure, you can keep it in this slot right here. It's zipped up. Uh, it's not waterproof resistant. Just keep it in heads up for that, but generally these back pockets, there's a reason for it not to be water resistant because water isn't really, it's your back. Your back is probably keeping it closed anyway. Another thing is a Velcro here. You can hear that. That is for the luggage pass-through. As I'm getting older, I have two kids, I use luggages a lot more just because of necessity. I gotta fit it somewhere. And when you travel, you get lots of souvenirs, so it's really important to have extra space. So it's important to have luggage pass-throughs. Those are pretty important nowadays for me at least. There is a, again, there is a little clip here. You could, for ease of use, and you want to convert it into a briefcase mode, you can clip the straps here. So in here, there is, on top, there's a zipper here, waterproof again. Everything on top here and on the outside is waterproof zippers. So you don't have to worry about water seeping in unless you're swimming. My wallet goes in here. Now the good thing about this bag is the shape of this interior of this main compartment. It's a rectangular cube. So you can, it's, it's really great because you can fit a lot of different setups in here. So if I were to open this up, you know, again, these straps are just for you to easier to open. If you had to open with one hand, it's pretty easy. So, it's up to you if you need to, maybe get caught in the thing. Super open, voila, that's it, see? See how, the good thing, like it opens, it opens like a flap. So it doesn't pull from the inside, interior walls, it just, so that's great, the walls are still rigid. And that means when you pack, you don't have to worry about it flopping all over the place. It keeps its form, which is great. I have two things here. I have the Joey pouch from Able Carry. I keep my smaller essentials, chapsticks, eye drops, lotion of that nature there. And then you have tissues here. A pack of these uh, Kleenex tissues. So you know, this, that goes in here. So these are great. These are two pockets, mesh, stretchy. 
you can fit a lot of smaller things here. It's very convenient. Then you have this interior, which is great. As you can see, it's kind of packed out. I just wanted to pack it out quickly to give you an example of what it would look like or what a packed out bag would possibly look like. And uh, this morning, I actually took this bag to go with my kid to, his, to her to her sessions. So I just bought some snacks that we didn't snack on, but she loves popcorners, so I had that for her. I just forgot this was in here, but the, you can put that in there. These are wires. I got this back from Japan. These are wires for charging my electronics. My laptop brick. And uh, there are these two spots here for water bottles, basically water bottle pockets. But instead of water bottles, there's two slots. So you can even, like if you have kids, you can have one for this, I have this, oh, I, can grab it. I have this wet ones here that I, can, I use for my kids when they're you know, wiping tables or you know, keeping the kids clean. I have that here and I have my battery pack here in this slot so there is that and now i'm thinking about it you can actually if you're setting up kids you can do you know you can do there's there is mesh pockets inside there's one big mesh one on this on the outer wall here or this wall and on this one there's mesh inserts where it's of varying sizes so you can there's two for pens i believe pens and pencils there's a small one that's a little bit bigger than like two, the size of two pen slots. Is it, and then just two bigger ones for, yeah, actually I would probably, like these would fit well into those slots, the bigger slots. And the strap here, which is great. It's also made from the same, it's a thicker version, I feel like of this. Maybe it's the same, it's probably the same. No, it's a thicker version. And what it is for is that it pulls, you pull down and you open, and that opens up the laptop and tablet compartment. And what's great about that is what I like about this, is this is one of the features that I really like about this bag, is that it's, it's a fit lock as well. It's a different kind of fit lock from the strap ones. And you basically just, it just attach it. It's like a nipple clip. It's a nipple, it's a nipple slot. And then you pull down, it doesn't take away from the rigidity of the walls. You pull it up, nipple, boop, 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 nipple, nipple, boop, boop, boop. Uh, this, maybe I should make this video for adults only. Boop, boop. Uh, <laughs> so there is a laptop, right, which is lined with this soft material. It's like sunglasses, you know, the sunglasses pockets. It's made with the same material. And then you have this material, which is only on one side, which is, I think it's totally fine. You put your laptop, you can put your notebooks, magazines in there. It's great. It's great. This is like so easy. And when you're going through airport security, one hand you can just open and take and then close it up. One hand you can just pop it back in. See? See ma? One hand. Let's put these back. I'm gonna use this again tomorrow. You zip up. And that is the bag. Do I recommend this bag? Yes. It is a great option for work, actually. I think this is ideal for work because you, I can see myself going to work. I keep my work stuff in this pocket. I, if I want to go to the gym afterwards, you know, I can fill this one with like clothes and like some sneakers and a water bottle if I had to, like a bigger one if I needed to. Um, or, or change of clothes, right? It fits all that and more. It's. Black is, I feel like black is the color of New York City. So there you go. Uh, it's, this is meant to be kind of beat up, right? The X pack is easy to wash. This Cordura Eco pack is like, it's just, it's durable. You know, you can, you can scrub it clean. Uh, what else? It's expandable. It's not, you don't have to expand it. It's weatherproof, so it can handle that. So in New York, sometimes the weather's are inconsistent like now. It's cold and then it's hot enough, so it's just rained and it's not. It's gonna snow next week too, so there's that. And then you know, it's it just looks it looks good. It's a good looking bag. It'll strike a conversation. So, what I do I like it? Yes, I think it's a great bag for work. 
if you want them to use it for other reasons like for kids stuff and things like that it definitely works if you want to fill with board games or beer or whatnot it will work so that's why i think that this is a great option you know if you don't like messenger bags then obviously don't pick it up but i'm i prefer bags backpacks but you know this is one of those times where i found a messenger sling a messenger shoulder bag where i can i'm i can actually see myself using so this is probably one of the few if any messenger bags that i have in my closet but yes i like this bag i will use it just a heads up is that it's a this 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 weight this thickness this materials it comes with the cost that it's it's uh it's kind of hefty too I don't know the weight off the top of my head right now. Uh, which have to, you can check on our website. But it's when you pack it out fully, it gets really heavy. <laughs> so I definitely recommend if you are commuting. I personally, when I travel or work or commute, I usually travel pretty minimally. So I try to keep it pretty light. You know, I like to be able to find things. Um, what I use is to travel internationally, maybe. <laughs> maybe, I, I doubt it because I would prefer a backpack. But maybe if I were I had luggage and I had a this crossbody bag, I mean, I'm sorry, this messenger bag, I could slot it into the uh, oh on top of the there's a pass through, and then go through my go through the garage and put it in my car and then I could drive to where I need to go. Maybe like road trips would be kind of nice. That would be kind of cool to have this as well. If you're going to like a short trip with kids, this would work. I, I you know I, again anything where it stays on your back for long term, it's a little tough unless you pack it minimally right so maybe like a few patches like like right now i think it's just it's just the perfect amount and then if i wanted to put in a jacket you know jacket takes up a lot of space but doesn't weigh as much yeah i could do that you know so yeah you know again this bag is great i recommend you picking up one or just to at least check it out and this bag is available on our website herbocred.com it is called the x dash tote so when you look it up on the website definitely type those in uh, also if you go on the top down my brand it's under code of bell so this is great we'll also put the link in the, sh the notes below so it's convenient for everyone to go check it out and if we're out of stock we'll also link the code of bell website as well so you can check them out as well they have a ton of cool stuff as well they're friends of ours and we love working with them so they're very important to us as well uh, don't break up with us and that is it for this video Again, I hope this is helpful. This video has gone a little bit longer, just like the Boundary Pro. There's a lot of features to the bag, so a longer video. Uh, but I hope that you got something out of it. It gave you a little bit more power in terms of picking, uh, in terms of figuring out whether you want to pick this up or not. And we'll see you in the next one.